Hey guys, so towards the end of our last video, we were uh, seeing how to do the cleanup of uh, all the things which we have created during our Route 53 lab. And I did miss one important portion, how to uh, release the domain which we have registered. So it, it's going to be, this video is going to be uh, covering that portion and it's going to be, you know, a short video. So in order to do that, log into your AWS console and then try to locate or try to, you know, uh, navigate towards Route 53 uh, dashboard. Once you are in Route 53 management console, navigate to registered domains, which is uh, placed under domain section. So here you can still see the domain which we have uh, uh, registered and uh, it's, it's going to be, you know, available. And uh, this is not uh, sort of what you call a release. So what we are going to do is we will have to delete it. So here you can see um, auto renewal option is uh, uh, enabled. Transfer lock is also enabled. So what it's going to do after the expiry date, uh, which you can see clearly here, April 26, 2018, uh, still the domain will be, you know, with us uh, and, uh, you know, you will be charged for the next uh, uh, year as well. We don't want it. We are going to release it. So let me click on that. Here you can see the uh, details uh, related to your uh, domain. So I'm going to click on delete domain and you will have to you know type the domain for the confirmation so i'm gonna say sam the cloud guy dot click uh, even if you try to you know copy paste it, it it's not gonna accept it so you will have to you know type it in so here you can see that uh, you cannot get a refund for the cost of domain registration so uh, for an year uh, you are charged and uh, uh, that's how it is and uh, when you receive a request to delete a domain, I can request us to get confirmation from the current registered contact. We will send an email to uh, the registered mail address and the mail will be, you know, uh, coming from uh, this mail address or uh, this. So, you know, pay attention to that as well. Let's click on, you know, delete. And that's it. Uh, you can clearly see that your request for deleting uh, domain was successfully submitted. You will receive an email that asks you to approve or reject the request. So you will have to wait for that email. You will have to confirm it over uh, the mail. Thanks a lot for watching the video guys. I will see you in the next one.